Hello viewers, in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to make shiny metallic text in GIMP. Now originally I got this tutorial, it was in written form on someone's blog or website or something, but I decided to make a video for it just so that you YouTubers can find it more easily. So your finished product will look something like this. So as you can see it's very shiny, almost liquid. It's uh looks very metallic because of the shininess and the color. So first off you want to open up GIMP. I already have mine open. And you want to make a new image by clicking file new. I'll just use the default settings for the size. And now you want to take your fill bucket tool. Make sure that your foreground color is set to black or a dark color. Click inside your image and fill it in with black. Now you want to take your text tool and type your text. So I'll be using love to gimp. And on the tool options for your text, um, set the f uh, font to a bold font. I'll be using sans bold. And set the size way up and set the color to white. There we are. Okay, so you can see it more clearly and size it up a bit more. So, like that. Now, if you have less letters, see I'm using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a number, then you will not be able to make it as big because now you want to go to this, which looks like an A and a B, and a bracket underneath, and tone it up to maybe 2, just so your letters are more spaced out and then you can t size it up to your correct size. So once you have that, you want to go Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you want to apply a very big Gaussian Blur, maybe about 16 I'll use. 16, okay. So now you can see it looks almost like a dim light a little bit. So now you want to go to your Layers dialog right click on your text layer and click merge down so now it's all one layer your text and your black background now you want to go colors levels and in this little dialog that pops up you want to move this black area arrow on your input levels you want to move it closer to the center I'll use about 123 and the white closer to the center also I'll use about Maybe, no. You can mess with these a little bit. What we're going for is rounded corners on our on our letters. So they're not as blocky because my liquid text, text that you saw before was not as square. And it looked more realistic because of it. So just mess with these arrows. Move them closer together and farther apart. Just tr try and make it more rounded corners without giving it a very scrunched effect like this does. Oopsies, no. Like that does. Ah. Actually, that's pretty good. So, something about that, make sure you can still see your holes and everything. Click OK. No, wait. Maybe a bit more. Make sure that it's sharp. It's not blurry anymore. So, I'll click OK. I'll click OK. Now you want to go Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and blur it again, except this time not as strong, maybe about 7 I'll be using. So click OK, and it'll become blurry once more, except now your corners are rounded. So now you want to take your Color Select tool, which looks like a hand pointing to a red square, and click on the black of your image. Now click Select, Invert, and your text will be selected. Now you want to go to your layers dialog and click on this page icon which creates a new layer and you can name it whatever you like. I don't really name my layers. Make sure it's set on transparency and click OK. Now you want to take your gradient tool set your foreground color as a dark gray maybe not that dark, like that and your background color to a lighter gray maybe about that and you want to stroke from the bottom up 
make sure that the gradient is set to foreground to transparent RGB stroke up make sure it's straight yeah so something like that now you can just go select none and you can see you have your gray text now you want to go filters map bump map and this dialog will pop open and set the bump map on this little sort of selection set it on as your background layer your black and white text one map type linear and leave all the settings the same and click OK on their defaults now you want to go colors curves and this is the really cool part so by clicking somewhere on the line then dragging up clicking it again and dragging down you create these nodes these sort of circles and the lines connecting them so by making this sort of wavy pattern as you can see if you have preview checked you get this very shiny look this is pretty much what gives us the best effect in my opinion see about that looks good to me. You can always mess with these. I'm just doing this quickly. Moving these around makes it shinier, darker, moves around the shiny point. It's actually quite interesting. We need to mess around with these a lot to really become very advanced. So as you can see, mine looks okay. It's not that great. Once you're done that, if you see it's still too sort of still too smooth, you want to make it sharper, you can go filters or oh, sorry, colors, curve, uh, colors, l curves, yes. And then do the same thing again. I find this makes it look even sharper and shinier. Like that. Maybe over a bit. And click OK. And as you can see right now, I have some very shiny text. And now, if you think that's enough, you can stop watching right now. But now I'm going to show you viewers who stick around how to make it a little fancier okay so I was having a bit of trouble with my GIMP it might have something to do with the fact that my hard drive is a bit clogged up but so now I'll be showing you how to make this a bit fancier and a bit standy if that's a word so you should have two layers in your layers dialog you want to right click on your transparent and metal text layer and click alpha to selection and what this should do is it should select everything that's on the layer. You want to go select, invert, then select, shrink by all oh, about five pixels. So now you can see we have a small border around the edge and we have our text, which is a bit blown up, almost bubble letters. Now you want to go to your layers dialog, which you can open by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Layers, and create a new layer by clicking on this page icon. Make sure it's transparent and click OK. Now click and drag so that it's then below your background, in the middle of your two layers, your metal text and your background layer. So once you have that one selected, then you want to take your fill buck bucket tool, set your foreground color to white, and click inside your selection. Oopsies, forgot a step. You have to go select, invert, then click inside of your selection. And what this should do is it should make give you your white border and it should make your text have a white border also. Now if you clicked and you only got one letter filled in, you can go to your tool options and click fill whole selection. This should work. That happens if you have a different background than just black or transparent in this case. Now click select, none, and we're almost done. On this layer you want to go filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and blur it by about a bit more than five, maybe, oopsies, that's a bit much, maybe 14, 12, I'm going to do that, and gives it a nice glowy effect. This is totally optional, but I think it look, makes it look better. Then you can optionally go image flatten image and that's about it subscribe if you like this video and thanks for watching